So for a lot of students, the science section is kind of like their monster on the ACT. They feel pretty good about what's going to be on the other three sections. And then for science, they're really wondering, uh-oh, you know, there's a lot of terminology. What science do I have to know? What's going to be tested? Don't worry about it. Just relax. Here's the cool thing. We have some amazing strategies for the science section. And by the time we're done talking about science, you're going to feel really, really good about it. You're going to learn that actually the science section doesn't test any science at all. I mean, it tests science, but you don't need any pre-existing knowledge for it. All you're going to need is basically the graphs and charts that are presented. And with our strategies, you won't even really need to read most of the passages at all. So let's get started. But first, we'll talk about instructions and the format. Let's take a look at the instructions and format of the science section. Instructions. This test contains seven passages, each accompanied by several questions. You should select the answer choice that best answers each question. Within the total allotted time for the subject test, you may spend as much time as you wish on each individual passage. Calculator use is not permitted. So in this episode, we're actually going to talk about the passage types and the question types you'll see. And by the way, just to note before we go to the next slide, calculator use is not permitted. Don't worry about it. They just say that to freak you out. You'll never need a calculator on a science section. Okay, format. 35 minutes for 40 questions. That's a lot to do and not a lot of time. You've got 35 minutes for 40 questions and remember the seven passages that go along with those. Three passage types and we'll talk about those today. Seven passages overall in no particular order. So you'll have three passage types and together you'll have three of one type, three of another type which we'll talk about and one of a third type for a total of seven passages. Let's take a look at the passage types. So first passage type Data representation passages. These contain one or more charts or big graphs and test your understanding and ability to use the information. There'll usually be a few sentences describing what you're gonna see in the chart or the graph and then one or two charts or graphs. There are three of this type, the data representation, with five questions on each. So a total of 15 questions in all linked to data representation passages. Let's look at an example so you see what I mean. Here we go. I'm not going to go into it right now because we'll look closer later. But we've got our big diagram here. And if we spend enough time, we would kind of analyze it and see what's going on. And then there'd be some five questions attached. And you see you've got a little blurb on top just kind of explaining what's going on, just giving it some context. So that's what you would see with data representation. Let's move on. The second type we're going to talk about is research summary. Now these passages present two or three connected experiments and then the data collected from them. So you'll see experiment one, experiment two, experiment three, usually a paragraph about each of the experiments, sometimes with a lot of jargon, but we'll talk about how you don't need to worry about that. And then a chart or a graph or a table depicting the evidence that was found or how the experiment was performed. And there are three passages that are research summary passages, six questions on each, so a total of 18 questions dealing with research summary. Let's look at an example. So you'll have kind of an introductory paragraph with a lot of scientific terms talking about what happened in the experiments. Then you'll see something like experiment one with some details about how experiment one was performed along with a table that just represents what happened, it gives you some more details about what they found in the experiments. Then you'll maybe have a diagram or two thrown in and then you'll have experiment two which will have some details about what happened.